Good evening. Oh, okay. I'm saying good evening because it's evening time around here. But good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing fantastic since the last time we spoke. And if you've been following me, thank you, thank you so much. And continue sticking around. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the wonderful comments. And if you're new here, Karibu. Karibu sana. Karibu means you are welcome to this family in Swahili. So, without further ado, today I just want to dive in. Yeah? But before that, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share, and comment down below. But anywho, let's continue. So today I'm going to, we are going to talk about, my, I'm going to talk about my tips. Yeah. If you're new and you don't know, I'm a mother of three, 80 years old, five and seven months old so um i'm going to give uh to talk about or give some tips of what i've learned through my motherhood journey and this is to the new to the first time mothers mostly to the first time mothers but it's information that everyone can learn because we are here to learn from each other so you never know you can pick something but it will be very, very helpful to first-time mothers. So, we are going to start with tip number one. Yeah? Tip number one is don't listen. Yeah? You know, when you're pregnant, you're looking all good. You're glowing. But there's always those questions. Oh, did you plan for the baby? Oh, do you know babies don't sleep? Do you know how expensive children are? Child care and all those kind of things, which, uh, which kind of um, can make you be afraid, be kind of afraid or uh, you are unsure if the baby is not yet here it's because you don't know what to expect. What I can tell you is motherhood is what you make, right? Motherhood is what you make. So don't listen. The moment the baby comes into this world, motherhood instincts kicks in. Boom. And to be fair, you are the right person for your baby. You will know if you are, you will know why your baby is crying. You will know if your baby needs to be taken into hospital. That instinct in you will let you know. Yeah. Also, things work out. Yeah. When you get there, you will cross the bridge. So don't worry too much. Just embrace the period that you are in. If it's the pregnancy period or you're planning to get pregnant or you're, you've just uh, given birth, just enjoy the moment. Yep. Everything will work out. Motherhood is what you make it and it's in you. The moment you have a baby, it just works out for you. You have the instincts to make the right decisions. The second tip is accept help, accept help. I know, I know, I know. If you are a new mom, you you will tend to feel like you have to be there for your baby all the time, 24 hours. Yeah, that's right. And that's how moms, that's how we are. Yeah, we want to give the best to our baby. But you can't empty from a, you can't empty from a, from an empty cup. So what do you need to do? You need to re-energize. You need to relax. So you accepting help doesn't mean you are less of a mom. No, 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 not at all. What it means is you want to feel good. You have want to re-energize and have the strength to look after your baby even better. So accept help from families, accept help from friends, accept help from your spouse, accept help. Mostly, you know, those first weeks, please accept help. Yes, those first weeks are, are, okay, the baby doesn't sleep. 
that much. So considering with pregnancy, probably you didn't sleep very well the last the last few weeks, and then there's sleep deprivi deprivation because of the newborn, then please accept help. That's another tip. Another tip is motivate yourself. Every morning when you wake up, look at that special human being. It is a blessing. Having a baby is a blessing. Look at it and say, thank you so much for choosing me, baby. I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to give you the best. And live with positivity every day you wake up. Say something good. Say something positive about the baby, about the time you're going through. And it will work out for you. Because it's a good thing. It's a fulfillment to look uh, to to look after a baby and see that it's happy. Yeah. So positive mind, positive vibes. Say something positive the moment you wake up. It doesn't matter if you had sleepless nights. It doesn't matter how your night was or how everything was. But when you wake up in the morning, look forward to it and say something positive. That's another tip. Another tip is treat yourself. This goes both ways. Before you, when you're carrying the baby, when you're about to give birth, please treat yourself. Yeah, treat yourself and go for your date night, go for your manicure, pedicure, go for your shopping. It's not that because you won't be able to do it after the baby comes, but um. When baby is here, first thing, one thing you have to do is to pre-plan. So before you go for a date with the with your spouse, you're like, oh, we need to look for a babysitter. And that's one of the most, it's one of the hardest thing to do, to look for someone that you can, that is reliable, someone that you can trust with your baby. There is good people, but again, that is something that, as a new parent you'll start learning yeah how yeah getting that person that will look after your precious thing so that's what that's why it will be easier to do all these things before the baby comes but it doesn't ma mean that you can't do them after the baby comes it's just that now you have to pre-plan you have to get um, a babysitter and also you have to chip in chip a uh, chip a uh, pay pay more like you uh, the expenses will be a bit more because now you have to pay for the child uh, for the babysitter yeah you get there another thing is um treat you also that, that's where the the help come in if you accept help then you're still able to treat yourself yeah you are able to go f when the baby is here you are still able to go probably for walks by yourself you are able to go for naps yeah, when you so treat that's because um, treating yourself kind of uh, changes a little bit after having the baby. Before the baby, it will be like going out, going shopping, but you'll find for the first few weeks or few months, treating yourself will be like you know, going for that long bath, soaking yourself. Or just going for that half an hour or one hour walk by yourself so it kind of change, changes a little bit but anyhow we are all different so you might have um, your ways of treating yourself might be different another thing don't buy everything I know I know I know I know first babies you want to buy everything yes you need push chair you need clothes you need pampers you need wipes you need dummies you need bottles you need everything but don't buy everything because um i have bought things that i come to realize later i never used this or i never even needed this or sometimes you buy too many clothes probably if it's if they it's the vests so you buy too many you find that you didn't even um and wrap or unbox others yeah so the baby is like seven months now but there's the, there's some vest from um zero to three months that i never even used you know so 
try and buy only what you need and also some things you can wait and buy as you need them because anyway now if if you, baby things are everywhere so if you need something amazon is there you're just gonna buy and within 24 hours it's there so that's another tip don't buy everything you might not need everything yeah just shop shop wisely i would say so those are my few tips and i will conclude with uh if you're a breastfeeding mom just know breastfeeding can be very very demanding can be demanding so you have to um you have to be prepared it's when you get the hang of it it's very easy and straight on but you know at night at night when um the baby when the baby wakes up so one thing you have to do you have to have that dim light you don't want to use the normal light because if the baby wakes up fully the baby's not gonna go back as to, to, uh, to sleep as as soon as you might have expected or might have wanted so please ensure you have that dim light on the bedside also next to your bed make sure you have your drink it can be squash or it can be water and a snack because the moment you breastfeed all you want to do is drink or eat something and you don't want to be going up and down the house in the middle of the night so please make sure you have something to avoid those trips boom that's a tip oh did i say conclusion hmm not yet we are not concluding yet do you know something I just remembered something that was very very ha that is still very very handy until now and I have it in every room it's very very let me get it it's very very important to get it yes you see this of course now it's a bit messy but this I have it in my bedroom I have it in the living room and that's because it has sections and I put my wipes I put nappies I put baby creams and so on and so forth so it, this one is to invest for one in your bedroom one in your living room just to avoid you walking up and down yeah, mostly the first few weeks you don't want to be up and down so this one I bought it from Amazon it did cost probably around eight pounds something like that I can't remember but this is another tip you have to have you have to have this it's very handy the first few weeks after you have the baby yeah guys I think those are my few tips that I thought I should share with first-time moms and please 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 what you have to remember is do you do what is best for your family what works for me and my children or works for me and my family can might not work for you and you're the clever one here as a mom so mommies you're doing a good job and continue doing it just do you we have the instincts in in us yeah and we know what is right i'm a mom of three am i doing the right thing i try my best that's all I know. I try my best and my best is the best. As long as I'm doing the best, then nothing matters. As long as it works for me and my family, then nothing else matters. So do you, do, do you, you are the clever one. And hang on there, nothing is permanent. That baby sleeping one hour, next few weeks the baby will be sleeping three, four hours. That baby that is fussy or colic, next two, three days, it will be over so just know it's temporary nothing is they grow they develop they become big they become toddler and it doesn't last forever so embrace every moment take care and be blessed if you haven't subscribed please subscribe share it and it's around 10 30 p.m it's quiet in here let me go and sleep get ready for bed take care bye bye